we're going to start this video off by playing this small clip. This for everybody that said I'm capping, I'm making stuff up about the man, Woot out the wham. Check this out. You never did nothing. You never did nothing, boy. You know what I mean? Niggas died behind that black shit, you goofy ass nigga. Man, shit, ain't nobody died shit, nigga. Gotta die behind that shit. Y'all ass Your sister, hey, look. My sister was splacking y'all ass. Your sister got being so dirty. Y'all living off the name that fake creating in the street. That bitch wasn't no assassin. That bitch got smoked. Oh, too, she How many times she, she got hit? How many times she got hit? Ask blood money. Ask OD. How many times she got hit? Ask Baton. Ask Joe. Your ass a fucking oh, goofy, man. Oh, too, I keep naming, fuck. Ask OD. How many times she got hit? Oh, too, she was splacking shit. Ask blood money. How many times she got hit? Ask blood money. Ask OD. How many times she got hit? Ask Baton. Ask Joe. Your ass a fucking oh, goofy, man. Oh, too, I keep naming, fuck. I just wanted to play this small clip for those that said Butter never said K.I. kill O.D. Butter and K.I. Well, K.I. been claiming that O.D. shit for a long time. Ben said we started O Block a long time ago. And just to let y'all know, the only reason why I played this for y'all is for this reason here. People was down my throat. I don't know if Butter sent them here or what, but. A lot of people are saying as though that ain't no way Butter could have told the police this, that K.I. killed O.D. because K.I. didn't kill O.D. and a whole bunch of other stuff. But that is irrelevant to what he actually told them. If Butter didn't tell the police that he was with K.I. when she killed O.D., he wouldn't say this in a DJ interview. DJ, you interview. Fear me. That ain't me, brother. Only way I'm coming up is motherfucker said me and Kyrie killed OD Perry. Now, this is just a month ago. I'm going to play that again, man. This is just a month ago. Damn, they hit a nigga with the ad. Won't you help to sin? Hit a nigga with the ad, man. These songs. I'm a rapper. You see how many songs I got? I, I got high wanna, songs. I'm I wanna, on high already. I want to stay on topic of this trial because they're saying that they're expecting the government specifically is expecting you to testify as cooperator three. Brother, everything I do is for three, but I ain't number three game. Feel me? That ain't me, brother. Only way I'm coming up is motherfucker said me and Kyrie killed OD Perry. And the reason why I'm playing this is because if Butter told the police, yeah, Kyra killed O.D. Perry, but I wasn't around. I know she did it. He wouldn't have to make a statement saying me and Kyra killed O.D. He told the police that, yes, I was with Kyra when she shot O.D. Perry. And the only reason why they can go off of what Butter saying, because he is a eyewitness, the only eyewitness, y'all. That's why his whatever he say holds weight. Because he the only eyewitness. He the only eyewitness talking about Vine smoked K.I. too. So that's why no matter what, if, even if Butter lying to get out of situation, making this up, you know what I'm saying? Pitting it all on dead people. It don't matter. Even if he lying, it's about what he's saying to them. And that's what they take into the stand. Now, he ain't only tell on dead people. Just to let you all know, he did throw Boss Top under the bus. And the nigga did actually... Ain't y'all got on my ass last time. It ain't implement, it's implicate. He did implicate what's the nigga name? Rose. He did implicate Rose in a murder situation of Lil Dale. And he told the feds that BT Boss Top was the driver of the KI murder. So with that being said, y'all. Another thing I want to point out, it's new paperwork that came out here today as well. Not much, but I did actually talk to a few attorneys on the case last night. And just to make it clear, I am not a blogger, y'all. I am a journalist. So I used my journalist powers last night and simply just called a few names. And y'all remember the name Goldberg? Y'all, we spoke about the Goldberg, dude. We ain't know who, what that was about. I actually called Goldberg. I actually called this, this number last night and spoke to him. 
and told him I was your journalist on the case, been following it for so long. Basically, he gave him all the details that I know. So he basically knew I wasn't playing around and I ain't just trying to give crazy information. But a journalist can call any of these intern attorneys on the case and get certain information that will not render the outcome of the case, y'all. So that's what exactly what I did. I called up Mark. I most definitely called Mark. I'm waiting for him to hit me back. I did speak to one of Mark's uh, secretaries or whatever. I spoke to Patrick as well. And I called Daryl Goldberg. Daryl told me basically um, he went to speak for um, David Salone. He went to speak for Lil Dave um, in court last week. I also went to ask him because I was trying to get the full fledged thing on butter to make sure that that's butter that they talking about. I asked him like, yeah, I see that your client, um, it says in a, one of the write ups that your client has a 30 years up to 30 years pending on a case and he isn't being granted lenity unlike another gang tied informant and i asked him do he know who that gang tied informant is here on the case and he said no he do not he just popped up uh he just was like a pop-up lawyer for lil dave he just came in to speak for him real quick and he ain't even going back in the courtroom no more but with that being said he did appoint me to Mark. He told me Mark may be able to rely some of that information to me. In case y'all don't know, Mark is actually the latest and newest attorney that is defending Marcus Smart, aka Muwap. The one before that was Patrick. I also left a message on Patrick um voicemail as well. And those, and basically I'm just asking again, I see that one of the I see that. Salone is facing 30 years. He isn't being granted leniency like someone like another gang tied informant on the case, which is clearly cooperator three. We know that it's Raheem Wilton, um, the one that is supposed to tie the deadly rival between STL, EBT and O Block together. I just want to know and make it clear that that is the other gang tied informant here on the case before publishing my reading and i'm asking this to a defense attorney which that information isn't going to render the outcome of the case and that is how i am going to get the information ladies and gentlemen and i will record that conversation so you two can actually hear it in real time like man i ain't playing no games y'all like I said before, I'm not a blogger. I'm a journalist and I'm going to use my resources at its utmost potential. I don't care what y'all call me. The feds, who out the wham, nigga knock it the fuck off. But um, other than that, what we did see here is this sealed motion. And another thing, this government and I found out this through my boy, um, through Mark's secretary. I was asking him yesterday about yesterday's sealed motions and i asked him about the government's immunity petition and i was asking about whether that is for one of the co-defendants or not and basically they said yesterday um basically that government's immunity petition is exactly what it sounds like this is for an official um they didn't say if it's a police officer or anything of the sort but i did do some more digging y'all and come to find out it is a police officer um that just got granted government's immunity okay it is a bad cop or should i say a bad police here uh on this case man and trenches news threw him under the bus basically trenches news threw him under the bus and the prosecution is putting out a government's immunity petition for him all right because yes he did do some illegal things to get certain information and he did play didn't play by the rules all that is in the oral argument y'all let me see if it all that's in the or oral arguments we'll check that out in another video though the or oral arguments man is like a real book all right a lot of pages and they cost me 10 cent a page a oral argument on let's just say on any given of these court dates it's probably let's say 200 pages you see what i'm saying so again y'all that's a dub club 
and I'm not even monetized yet. So, again, man, if y'all do want to check out that video of the oral arguments, it's going to be a long one. Smash the like button. I get 500 likes on this video. I go ahead and do the oral arguments for the last past week in the courtroom, and that's during the trial. All right. But um, again, as y'all can see here, that government official is getting that immunity. Nothing big, though. I'm going to try to get back to y'all with what Mark got to say to me, basically. And again, for those that tried to say, Butter never stated that K.I. killed O.D. We see a video of him throwing gestures out like that. But after speaking to the feds and he told them. Yes, I was with K.I. when she did it. We was out op shopping on the night of Tuka B-Day. If he didn't make that statement, he wouldn't have to put across DJU's platform that me and Kyra. Because he already implemented himself to the feds that it was him and Kyra. Right or wrong? Do y'all follow me? Do y'all get me? Is y'all following along or what? But with that being said, man, if y'all still rocking with the campaign... Go ahead, smash that like button. Like I said, 500 likes, man. We're going to go ahead and watch, read off them oral arguments. I'm going to dive into the Melly case here for y'all. I ain't really got too much insight on the Melly case, though, on the background, because it's really just, you know what I'm saying, a one-job thing. You know what I'm saying? But I look into that for y'all, as well as the Young Thug. The Young Thug is a little bit more interesting, because we got a lot of moving pieces with the Young Thug. Not so many moving you many not so many moving pieces with the Melly situation, but it's a lot of moving pieces going on over there with uh, Thug, man. So we're going to check out the Thug situation in Melly. And with that being said, man, I'm gone.